today we're um, breaking uh, down the carcass of a Berkshire pork, free-range pork. So it does carry a bit more fat, more uh, into fat through the muscles. First, Tim will take the shoulders off. We mark that around here. It's usually about four ribs from the neck up. There we have a shoulder, Tim. We have the hocks, shoulder, scotch fillet. Just peeling off the shoulder from the four quarter rib cage. It's a Victorian um, bred pork from Yang uh, Wangaratta. Um, <clears throat> it's called Greta Valley. Uh, and they, they look after their pigs are totally free range. They're bred free, free range, which is a difference. Uh, they're well looked after, they're looked after by pets, they're fed well, uh, they, they get checked by vets. What we have here now is the shoulder. We can slow roast that shoulder and leave that on the bone. Trim the neck up. You can put an oven on around about 100 degrees and you can cook that slow roasting shoulder for around about 12 hours and that'll just break down and all the meat will fall off the bone. What we have here, when we bone this out, we have a scotch fillet. Score the crackle. All right, and that allows the crackle to rise when you put, when you cook a scotch, any, any part of the pork, you put the oven on a high heat, cooks it intensely, crackles all the skin up, uh, and you turn the temperature down, the crackle will stay. What we've got now is the shoulder and the barrel. So we'll take these bellies of pork off. They are absolutely beautiful, slow roasted. I've cooked these for about four or five hours at home. Pull down the line. There we go, there's a line of pork. I'll, uh, I'll just go over to the saw and split this down and uh, we'll show you what we can do with a line of pork. What we do here is go to the last rib. I'm going to have a little French rack of pork here. I'm going to trim this up. Everything's from Victoria. We only sell Victorian lamb from the Western Districts. Uh, so we have a line of pork here. We can mark that through like that, all the way through for chops. Pork chops. I can bone that out and turn that into butterfly steaks. We have a little fillet there we can bone out. Just take those backbone out of there. And that's another little mini roast that we can have. We just tie that up. Now what we've got left here is a leg of pork. So we'll lift that down here. Take gamble out. When we split the leg, with the legs, there's a several things you can do with the leg. We'll just take this little hip bone out. That's very annoying to cut it, carve around. That's one leg. Take the tail out, we'll take the feet off, the hocks, trotters, pork trotters. Take this trotter off. You need a bit of bridge strength when you break up animals as well. It doesn't come that easy without pushing and pulling a bit. All right, that's a leg of pork. That size leg of pork is probably about a seven kilo leg of pork. Uh, we smoke these, uh, salt them, lightly salt them, no chemicals, uh, free range, and smoke them and turn them into hams. So we, they're very popular Christmas ham or any time through the year if you want a ham, you turn them into hams or roasting pork. I'll break this down. Even further now, we'll take the round out. And the marrow bone. Just 
just whip that little marrow bone out first. Yep. We have a round, little round roast in here that we've just got to follow the same and take out nice and carefully. That's another mini roast for two to three people. That's a round, one of the best little roasts out of the middle of a leg of lamb. And that's how you break down a pig.